G'day guys, another weekly vlog. I am going down to do a podcast with another Cookson. Corey Cookson has a podcast, Cooko's brother, so I'm going to go down and do his podcast today. And then while I'm down at the Cookson's, I think I'm going to film with Cooko as well. And then I think uh, we'll come back to mine and do our podcast. So a big day of filming, but it should be pretty good. It should be pretty fun. Um, not sure what me and Corey are going to talk about. I think we're going to talk about being creative, which is something that I genuinely love talking about. So yeah, going to pop down to the Cookson's now and have a big day of filming. How old do you think Connor Blakely is? 19. What? Wait, I was thinking of Blakey from... The Mick Swans. Blakey, no, Connor Blakely. I don't know who that is. Plays for Freo, I think. Or maybe he's not there anymore, but he used to. 24. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, mate. Oh, how mad that Dutchie has to make a prank channel? Yeah, I know. Like, he actually has to. Wait, what was it? If, a player... if an AFL player got coronavirus? He didn't have it. Oh, it was confirmed he yeah, didn't? Yeah, confirmed he didn't. Then why the fuck did they write stories and shit? Shiswowski. Because Tom Morris is a leech. Tom Morris is a leech. <laughs> Who are the ones that suck? Morris, Sam McClure. McClure's alright, I reckon. I reckon there's a little bit of self-awareness. Nah, Scoops sucks. A little bit of self-awareness with Scoops. Yeah, but he's got no morals. Yeah, true. Might be self-aware, but he's got no morals. Damo's good. Tom Brown's annoying, but he's... I like Damo, but I don't feel like Damo has too many morals either. Like, yeah, for I, a good... I, I think there would be more stories that he's hidden than you reckon? revealed. Yeah. Oh, fair play then. Well, I reckon he would know heaps. You reckon? But he does go with an awful lot, so maybe not. Yeah. I just, I just don't respect the ones that, for a little bit of gain, will burn people's careers and shit. Yeah, it's not... It's not good. Like, different if it's, like, something horrible, like, but when it's, like, something that can be hidden. But who cares? Like, when they... This is good vlog content. Yeah, genuinely. A little podcast. For the first time ever. Um, but who cares if, like, one bloke was speeding or Shout something? Shout out Tiana. Subscribe to her YouTube channel. Subscribe to Tiana. <laughs> who cares if... Yeah, yeah like, you know when they're, like, caught speeding and it's like, oh, I can name them and get front page yeah, to the end. Yeah. Who cares if they do stuff like that? Like, yeah. I don't care. And was it Dane Swan was like a little bit over drink driving? Oh, time? Hodge. Hodge was 0.02. Two? So was, um... But if you're who was the guy from Geelong? Uh, Ruckman. Dawson Simpson? Dawson Simpson. I think his career's over now, isn't it? <laughs> Is he still at the Giants? Oh, maybe. I don't know. But <laughs> like... I tried to retire Dawson. <laughs> oh, I've done a Dawson. I've tried to retire But yeah, stuff worse. like that. Just like, leave him alone. Like, yeah. it's so dodgy. Anyway, we've um, knocked off the pod. I've done two cooks and potties today. I did Corey's in the morning. What? How'd that go? Yeah, it was good. What's it for? What's it? He's bringing out like a 10 part potty series with like just musicians and creative mates that he knows. Did he really get into the crooks of your life? Yeah. A couple of good questions. Yeah, that's just some confronting questions. Nah. <laughs> You're a bit of a podcast man. When are you. Are you breaking the news? No news, mate. No uh, news. When are you... Oh, what? That you're going on the True Footy Podcast? When's that happening? Oh, yeah. I'm going on... I'm a podcast aficionado. When's that happening? Um, well, he's gone to Asia. He's travelling to Asia in, in amidst the coronavirus. Yeah, I was going to say, risky times. Not to be racist. It's not racist, but... Well, it's not racist because that's where the virus happen. is. But yeah, True Footy's going overseas. So when he comes back, he reckons he'll get me on, which will be huge. One more for the people. <laughs> All right. How old is Nick Vlosten? 26 or 7. 26. 27. 26 or 27? 26. 26 or 27? 27. 26 or 27? 25. 25! <laughs> <you know? laughs> A lot of people that catch the cues there. I was watching your AFL big calls and... Um, I got one right. I said a Brownlow medalist would break his leg and the next year Tom yeah. broke his leg. Yeah. But I think I meant... You said Dangerfield. Yeah. But yeah, no, I did listen to that. I was like, oh my God, that's pretty close. Sort of like the Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan thing. Eerily, eerily close. So maybe you're in touch a little bit with things, but, you're but not, can't you can't grasp feel, it. Yeah. yeah. But you got that feeling. Uh, but you're predicting the premierships was awfully wrong. Like three years ago, you predicted Adelaide? the next four premierships and they were oh. awfully wrong. I, went, I, was, I can't remember who they were, but I was like, oh my god, no. No. No, no. <laughs> I should do that again. And he just looked at me and went, it is what, what it, it is. is. Good morning, guys. I am off to uh, make some more music. Still chipping away at the tunes. I'm um, going to take the two-hour drive to Jakey's 
and then we'll uh, crack in, crack in with the tunes. But um, yeah, it wasn't a bad sleep last night. Nice little kipper. Starting to get my sleeping pattern back to somewhat respectable hours. It used to, it used to be a genuine go to bed at 3 a.m., get up at 11. But now we've um, mopped it back to a, you know, a respectable go to bed around 11.30ish, get up around 8. So, chip it away at that as well. But today should be fun and it's going to be good to see the big Jakey man again. So let's get up there. Beethoven actually didn't play, play, yeah. play piano, he just used MIDI. Yeah, Be <laughs> Beethoven, <laughs> he didn't touch the keys. So there was a uh, song idea that we had Good. called This Is War. Um, and I didn't really have much written for it besides a little passage. So we're going to chuck This Is War as an intro to the EP, which I think is quite cool. Yeah, intro to everything. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think this song is sort of the song I hope that you know, kids at home who are making footy montages can use for their background yeah, music. Yeah. Um, and then I'll sting them and uh, copyright it. <laughs> no, I won't. I'll make sure it's uh, uh, accessible to use. But yeah, it's a bit of an uplifter, a bit of a build-up song, but that's what it's we're working anthem, on really. at the moment. An anthem. It is. It's an anthem. <laughs> it's going to be the Australian National Anthem. It's actually going to be using World War Three, Which will be soon, because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Corona's here and we're all going to die. <laughs> so yeah, we're smashing it. Um, Question before you uh, continue, mm -hmm. and it's what, something that's been playing a lot in my mind is, yeah. what do you call your fans? Like, do you have a name? Because uh, you know, there's the, yeah. be the believers and there's the uh, Drake, yeah, so the Jake Rossians, we, uh, the Jake Rossians. <laughs> well, we got the Dossinators four thousands. Um, <laughs> there was an Instagram page with th made by three girls, and it was called the Dosso Army. Oh, okay. So I don't know if we're still the Dosso Army because I think. They lost a bit of interest in McDonald and stopped uploading on DossoArmy.com. <laughs> but, um, yeah, maybe Dosso Army, I'm not sure. Comment down below what your name is. <laughs> a double whammy. It's no. behind the camera. Good morning, guys. Thursday morning. Um, the day that the season predictions come out, I've been able to chip away at it during the week, but I haven't really had a good run and jump at editing it consistently. So the day that it's going out is the day that I'm going to be fully editing it. Which might sound like it's a big time issue, but it's, it's how I've done a lot of my videos. Like I've done parodies before where, you know, I've told everyone they're coming out on the Thursday and on the Thursday morning at 6am, me and Cook are filming half of it. So sometimes I do leave things to the last minute. Yeah, it's 8.30 now. I estimate that I'm going to be stuck in this chair all day. I really <clears throat> doubt that I'll be doing anything else for the rest of the day because I got a, a fair bit to edit. Best case scenario, by about one or two, she's, she's done. But I estimate that I'm going to be getting it done by about three, you know, right on the dot. So we can't really waste any more time. We've got to get into it. But um, <sighs> yeah, the season predickies. Just smashing through the edit, guys. Um, it is two o'clock and I literally haven't stopped <laughs> since 8.30. But we are getting there. Just doing the final little uh, little bips and bobs. My computer has crashed three times editing this. So all's fair in love and war, I guess. But um, yeah, I think it's a, a funny video. I think, you know, the season predictions are always top notch. So yeah, I really rate it. But... I really got to charge ahead because I want to get it up by 4 and we're cutting it very, very thin at the moment. 4 p.m. Yeah. It is all done and dusted. The season predictions is up. I'm absolutely boogered, to be honest. Um, been sitting here since 8.30. My, um, my editing software was just playing up this whole time, so I'm not sure what the go is with that. I might have to... Suss how to fix it, but yeah, it was just playing out, but crashed a couple of times. It doesn't always do that, but this is the timeline. I've had bigger timelines, weird flex, um, in terms of uh, when I do goal recreations or songs, but this is pretty 
pretty meaty, 16 minutes. Yeah, so there you go. And it's doing quite well, 300 views in 10 minutes. Happy days, happy, happy days. I might take my lappy, get on Netflix and just chill for the rest of the day slash week. Um, and gear up for footy season next week. Have seen some stuff online recently about the corona. It seems to be getting a lot more serious than what people first took it. It's scary times, to be honest. I know, you know, there's people out there that'll laugh. Oh, don't, you're never going to get it, blah, 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 blah. But I think we all have to be a little bit diligent and um, not just take, take the news for granted. But yeah, it, it has been in my local area in Geelong um, to shopping centres that I frequently use. So, um, yeah, I, I just hope it, yeah, I hope it passes without too much damage. It's, it can get a little bit concerning when it's just so out of control. It just seems to, you know, every time I go on Twitter, there's something I don't want to see. It's just quite negative and just bad news bears sort of stuff. But hoping it passes. If it affects the footy, then that's, you know, shattering. But as long as people are healthy, that's fine by me. Um, Alright, sorry, Daddy's sleeping on the couch, that's why I'm being quiet, but, um, back home from work. Yeah, it's one of those ones where, um, you know, I've chucked out one of my biggest videos for the year, and immediately you just want to keep refreshing, refreshing, refreshing to see if people are getting around it, slash, whether it's getting views. One thing I've had to teach myself, slash, you know, um, just learn, is that it's... You know, the first hour means nothing. <laughs> and the first week means nothing. And instead of refreshing or being obsessed with the numbers, you just put it out and then in a couple of months you have a look and see how it's going. But um, it took me ages to, to sort of grasp that idea because for a long time I'd just be clicking to see how the views go um, over and over. But it's just, you know, there's no point. You, you can't tell. And um, it's not really productive. But YouTube and Netflix time, I don't know what to watch. If you've got any recommendations, whack them down below. Alright guys, that is it for another weekly vlog. Georgia, have you got anything to say on the outro? Wash your hands for 20 seconds and avoid social areas. <laughs> and um, de-socialise. <laughs> what, what's it called? Self, Andy. self isolate. Self isolate. Um, yeah, I appreciate everyone who watched the video. I appreciate all the support, and we'll see you next week for another week.